What's up you guys, Roland here, and today we're gonna to be going over my new power adapter toy, I guess you could say a little gadget that I got for my Canon M50. So today we're recording using my Galaxy S10 because the Canon M50 is going to be a bit of the subject matter today, specifically the battery, because I don't like changing out my battery when it comes to doing my videos. Sometimes I'm recording a video and if I'm recording eight, nine, 10 minutes of video, the power on the battery for the Canon M50 dies really fast and these guys are not cheap. So I found a $19 option, which was this thing right here by Kimaru in order to power my Canon camera off of the wall outlet. That way I don't have to change out the battery. We're gonna hook it up, see how it works real time right now. Open up this little box and see what's inside. Hopefully it's some cool stuff. I don't know yet. We're gonna find out right now, let's do this. All right, so here we have the power adapter by Kimaru and it is pretty simple to understand here. Not much going on. It's got things like the overload voltage protection, overload current protection, overload power protection, overload temperature protection, information overload, lightning strike protection. I guess if you get struck by lightning, uh, you know, this thing's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Short circuit protection. All right. So short circuit. I love that movie. Aww. So power adapter. We're going to slide it open and we're going to see what's going on on the inside. The packaging. Just get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Open up the box and here we have all the stuff that's inside, including the wonderful instructions, which, eh, we don't need that. Packaging of stuff. All right, so we have what looks like a power cable, noise. We have a dummy battery, which should be almost the exact same size as the Canon battery. So let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. All righty, looks pretty much to be almost the exact same setup as the Canon battery, if you can see here. Pretty equally matched. It's got the little porthole right here. Now that what that's for is for the power adapter to plug into. So this is gonna take the place of your Canon battery and it's gonna go into the bottom of the camera. I'm gonna pull out the adapter. So here we go, your power adapter with a small little port plug there that goes into the battery. Uh, we're just going to connect these two together and make sure that they are locked in nice and tight there. This obviously goes to a outlet. Hopefully you have US plugs. So we're going to plug that in. Obviously we got some power going on now. The blue light came on. Now we take our Canon camera, we open up the bottom. Make sure your battery is not in there, okay? Now we're gonna take the dummy battery and we're gonna slide it in there as if it was a regular Canon battery. And if you slide it in the right way, not the wrong way, it will latch into place, see? So the battery's latched into place and now right here, you're gonna see that there's a little hole there. You can actually move that piece around on the outside here and expose the opening for where the power port is gonna go into. That's this piece. And the way we do that is just flip this little battery cover, which you can barely tell, but it's a battery cover hole or little slot there. Just gonna flip that up and rotate it. So once you flip it up and you move it, look at that. Exposed to the port on the inside. Now, open it up, turn it on, you'll see there is no power. Nothing is coming on, right? So let's plug it in and see the magic happen. Hopefully my camera doesn't explode. Plugged in. So that's now plugged in. We're gonna power it on and we should see the power come on. Look at that, noise. So we're just gonna do the usual steps for making sure the camera works and there we are. Look at that. How awesome is that, guys? It's working. So now we have full power. And we are no longer using the battery of the actual camera itself, which means that I can now record a video 
for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever time I have. Of course, you don't want the camera to get too super hot. But the point is, is that you can record a video for an extended amount of time and not have to worry now about the battery dying. It gives you much longer battery time and it's a way to help you out with your workflow. I like it, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and plug it and watch it die. Look at that. And of course, you can just remove it, eject the battery whenever you want, put the regular battery back in, once again, try putting it in the right way. Cover up the hole there like it normally does. And then we are back on power of the battery power that is. And of course it tells you, you know, how much battery life you have left right here at the top. But yeah, let's switch back to the power port or the plug-in power. All right, let's see if I can get this right this time without having to eject the battery. Got it right. Let's flip the little lid here thingy over, plug it in with the power port. There we go. Flip the switch. Camera should come on here shortly. If I plug it in all the way, that is. I don't think I have it plugged in all the way. There we go. Camera's on, and it's showing we have full battery power there. Well, folks, there you have it. That's a quick breakdown and how-to of the power adapter by Kimaru. Just go to the link that I'm gonna put in the description below so that way you can pick one up from Amazon. It is compatible with other cameras. It works with the Canon M50, the M100, and the EOS M2, M50 Mark II, I think it is. But it works with a handful of cameras. It's a great power adapter for such a great price. Look in the description below here for a link to go purchase one and just make sure that you read the breakdown of the cameras that it covers. That way you can find out if it covers your camera. I'll also put a link in the description below for a few other power adapters that cover a myriad of cameras. So you should have quite a few options when it comes to picking power adapter for your camera. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.